Yes, exactly, this is React. You haven't seen this icon that often on the channel, but starting from this video onwards, you will see it pretty often. Storefront UI 2 was released and now with support for React. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with Storefront UI and React. Let's go. Welcome to the Storefront UI 2 Getting Started Guide. Storefront UI is available for Vue and React. In this tutorial, we will install and get started with Storefront UI. We will import few components and I will show you how to use blocks. Don't forget to give us a start on GitHub. Let's begin! Go to the Getting Started page in the docs and while you can play with Storefront UI in the playground right in the browser, in this guide we will install it on our machines locally. For this video I will be using Next.js, a React framework to build modern web applications. First, let's start with creating Next.js application. Let's copy the script from the docs and go to our terminal. In the terminal, we will just proceed with the default Next.js installation. We'll call the app SFUI app and then just select all the default values. Let's wait for the Next.js app to install. CD to the app name and open up the editor. Let's proceed with the Storefront UI installation. Go to the docs and copy the first one. We will use npm. Paste in the terminal and start installing the library. While it's installing, let's go back to the docs and copy the Tailwind CSS installation script. Once Storefront UI is installed, let's install Tailwind. When the Tailwind is installed, let's go down and initialize Tailwind. Copy the script go to the terminal and paste it. It will create two files, tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js. Let's open tailwind.config.js, go to the docs, under the modifier tailwind configuration file, copy the configs from the docs, go back to VS Code and replace all the contents with what you have copied. Save the file. Now we will need to update our global CSS file. Let's go back to the docs, copy the code, and under the app folder open globals.css file and replace everything with these tailwind imports. Now we can close these files. The setup of Storefront UI is completed. Let's run our project. npm run dev and our project will run on localhost 3000. Let's open it in the browser. As you can see, our project is up and running, but the styles are messed up. So to fix that, let's go to our page.tsx and delete all the code which we have inside the main tag. Also, we can delete the class name for the main tag. Let's also delete the imports that we don't need. Let's go back to the docs. Here we will copy the example. We will import SF button from the Storefront UI library and copy the body, paste it inside the main tag, then open the app and you can see that we have an error. Storefront UI is client-side first components, so we will need to use use client directive in case if you are using experimental app from the Next.js. Add it to our file and refresh the page. Now you can see that Storefront UI component SF button is available in the page remove the class name so it won't be on the full width of our app. Let's go back to the browser and you can see that the button is a normal size now. Let's just fix our spacing a bit. Now let's go back to the storefront UI and actually we will look at a SF button page. As you can see SF button comes with different variants. Copy those another two variants and add it to our code. Storefront UI components can be customized by using props or class names, but we will discuss it in another tutorial. Change the names of our buttons and now we have three different variants of button on our app. If you are not satisfied with the default styling or default functionality of the component, you can go to the component source code and you will see all the source code of that SF button component. And this source code is available for all the different components. Let's copy it and let's create a new folder called components and a file called GS button that stands for getting started button .tsx. Paste all the source code of the component over here 
and change its name to GS button. You are free to change anything, but in this example we will just change the styling for our primary variant. Let's change the BG primary 700 value to red. And do the same for hover and the active state. Now save the file and go back to the page file. We need to import our new GS button. Let GitHub Copilot finish the job for us and go back to our app and see that we have now our new custom button. Let's do some more changes and let's add that on the hover state, KL will be increased to 110. Save the page again, go back to the app and now you can see that on hover our button is actually transforming and applying the scale. Storefront UI also comes with something that is called blocks. Blocks are a complex component that are built on top of base components. For this example, we will use a product card block. But before we do that, let's actually make some changes. Go to the main and add a class name. So we have our buttons and all other components look a bit better and we will position them somewhere in the center of the screen. Now let's check how it looks and now it looks way better. Ok, so now we can start with product card. Go to the source code of the block and copy it. Go back to your IDE and create new file which we'll call productcard.tsx. Now paste our code and you can see that we are using product image from the assets. We don't need it, let's remove it and instead we will use a const image URL with the URL for the image from our docs. We will also need to change the source of our next image component to the image URL. Now let's save the file and add it to the page. Very well, now let's go back to our app. You can see that this has resulted in error because we are trying to use the image from the domain name that we don't know go back to our next.config.js and add images object into the configuration file and add our new domain. We have to restart the app once again because the changes were done to the next.config.js. Go back to our localhost app and we can see that now our product card is used. But since we are building a new design system with storefront UI, we actually need to use our new GS button for the product card component. Let's go to the product card code and replace SF button with our new GS button. Since we have changed the styling only of the variant primary, the first button won't change. Let's go back to our app and you can see that now we are using our new button on the product card. And this is all that you need to know how to get started with Storefront UI. I will see you next time. What you see is not a test, it's the storefront UI2. Install me now, I'll show you how a did UI supposed to do.